All right, guys and gals, welcome back to the channel. Here we are working on Justin's Trailblazer again. Um, as you can see, we've got a good start on it. Today we're going to try to get the tie rod in. It looks like Justin's working on off. Probably uh, get the upper and lower uh, ball joints out of it or disconnect it from the knuckle or the spindle so we can start uh, getting this thing ripped down. Um, sit back, good luck and enjoy. Hey right, guys, Justin got the nut off the tie rod in here. There's a couple different ways you can do this. You can smack right here with a hammer if you don't have a pickle fork. We're gonna try this method, see if it works. And there it goes. It popped out. We just got to lift the lower control arm a little bit to get that out. I'm trying to show Justin here too so he knows how to work on his truck when he gets older by himself. So there's that one done. We still got this up here. We got this one down here. This one down here does not have a cotter key in it or this one up here is just a pinch bolt. And then we still have to do the sway bar end links. And then you have to take the strut mount off the lower control arm. And you can just keep rolling, rocking and rolling. So right now I'm taking the bolt off of the upper ball joint. What kind of bolt is that, Justin? What's that joint that you just took apart? I know it's the upper ball joint. Is that a pinch, to, pinch bolt? Yes, because it pinches. The ball joint has a little rod coming out of the top of it. And it wraps around. And when you put the bolt in, it closes. And it pinches this little rod so it doesn't fall off. Just like that. So with this car being from 2006, it got a little old. I'm pretty sure these are all original parts. So it was a little stuck. So in order to open this up to let this rod go so we can bang this off, we put a screwdriver in between this little gap, hammered it on just a little bit. It was starting to come free. And there it goes. Now that that's off, her, or, uh, off the upper ball joint, we're going to take this brake line bracket off. It's a tedious process. It's a 10 millimeter bolt, and there's two of them on each side right here.
And there it goes. All right guys, here we are. I'm gonna jump back in here for a minute. We're gonna take this lower lower ball joint nut off and drop this knuckle out of the way here. Not the easiest in the world to break free because it wants to turn. And again, same thing as it was with the uh, tie rod end. Turn it. Pops it right off. And the reason you do that, I don't know if you can see down in there or not, how it's tapered. And the, you see your ball joint here is tapered. So it actually wedges itself in there. So you hit it. To break the taper for free and that's how you get them free they also have other tools that you can use to separate stuff like that um, pickle fork tuning fork ball joint separator tie rod end separator different stuff if you don't have the tools you can always go down to your local auto parts store they all rent tools you give them your money you use the tool you take the tool back you get your money back we're a shade tree here, like we've said, so we're not always going to do it right, but we're going to have fun doing it. So, on to the next part, which is where it gets difficult. Um, we got to get this um, sway bar end link off, and then we're got to get the strut mount off the bottom here. It's not easy when we did the other side; it was not fun, and. Thanks to GM and their infinite wisdom. See the bolt for the upper control arms? They run right into the inner, inner fender here. As you can see, there is no way to get the wrench in there and get it out. Sorry, finger. Get it out. So when we did the other side, we actually uh, took and trimmed a little bit off the inner fender wells which I'm sure we'll end up doing on this one too so that's where we're at and we'll keep you guys updated as we keep working all right guys now we're going to start taking off the lower strut mount looks like oh that one's fairly easy soaking this thing in WD-40 for about a month because we knew we had this coming up. That may be part of the reason things are coming apart fairly easy. Um, probably be a lot different if we didn't soak it. Now that nut's off. Try to get this lower strut mount off this stud and it's just like everything else. It's tapered and uh, stuck to say the least so get a pry bar in here yeah that's not coming free yet may have to put some more uh penetrating oil on that one so, I th actually, if I'm not mistaken, when we did the other side, Justin, correct me if I'm wrong, we had to get the control arm to come loose to get that off, didn't we? So, we'll actually have to get under the truck and up in here. Um, 
right here. It's hard to see, but down in here is a bolt. And here's a bolt. And then there's another one behind it. And those are the ones I was talking about that pinch up through the frame. I have to get those loose, get them out, and then we can take and move the whole control arm backwards this way towards the rear of the truck to help this pop off better. Because right now, it's stuck. May even have to put some heat to it. I really don't want to because of the rubber bushing in here. We're try trying to replace that one. It doesn't need to be replaced. So... We will get after it and see what comes apart and what doesn't. All right, guys. So we douse this in WD-40, try to get it to come apart. We're going to let that soak for a little bit. Now we're taking off the sway bar end link. Put a wrench on it. Use another wrench for leverage. Now that it's broke free, just use the one wrench. Turn it off. One thing you got to look at when you're doing this stuff, guys, is that stud, that bolt in the end link may start turning when you're turning the nut. If that happens, they have um, Allen, Allen heads in them. You can put an Allen wrench in the uh, end of the stud and hold it when you use the wrench to spin it free. It's like we're getting lucky and we don't have to do it this time. Because that is not fun. Alright, so now the nuts off the sway bar end link here so now to free it up just a little bit we're going to jack up the lower control arm free it up just a little bit and it looks like that should be and there it goes have to use some force then it comes right out All right, guys, so we're back at it here. We're going to try to get this off. Um, it should have enough play with the rubber mount up top and the bushings that it's in for us to get it off. Um, we're going to try a little bit of heat here. Hopefully, we don't have too big of a fire since we've got a little WD-40 in it already. Just heat up the lower strut mount. If you had a uh, real torch, it wouldn't take as long, but here with our little bottle, it's going to take us a couple minutes to get enough heat in it to actually get it to pop. Trying to be careful to keep the heat centered, concentrated to the middle in front of this, because I really don't want to melt those bushings that this is in. You can buy a whole new lower control arm with the frame mount and everything. Um, trying to not do that. Trying to do this side a little more budget friendly and show you all what you can do at home with basic hand tools. So we're just going to try and heat things up, get them apart. See what happens. It's pretty thick metal, so the heat's actually going to take a, quite a take a minute to get enough heat in it to actually do anything all right got a little heat in it here pry and we got it it worked thank goodness pop that sucker off of there don't grab the end of it and try to pull it over you will set your hand on fire this is where we got to move the control arm to get the rest of the way free. 
but we got it off of there now we got to get the bolts out for the upper control arm because those bushings are probably no good they sound horrible look horrible uh, lower ball joint is bad you see all the play in it we know we need to replace that one um, tie rod in is good it seems like um, this bushing right here has been replaced once I did that um, not fun doing it in the truck so that's why we're gonna take everything apart but we'll go ahead and probably replace that one this one needs to be replaced because it's gone bad and we're just gonna do the upper one just because we're in here we probably should the you can see how soft that rubber is it should not be trying to pull itself over the end of that bolt so we know we got yeah upper bushings are bad too but i think we're gonna wrap that video up for tonight uh kids got school i got work thanks for tuning in to another episode of shade tree mechanics thanks for watching from justin cody and i like subscribe comment on our channel let us know what you guys want to see thanks